I was a vet and I had my hay fever cured in 10 minutes by a lady using this crazy thing called homeopathy that I knew nothing about. And I was so amazed by this, there was not a, everything I'd been taught, this wasn't possible. I became fascinated and two months later I joined a homeopathic school and was studying to be a homeopathic vet. I enjoyed that so much, I introduced it into my practice, then the owners of the animals said, could you come and treat me as well, which they'd done for years. But now I, I thought I was going to do that properly, and I went and studied and became a homeopath for people as well. I have a practice in West Somerset. It's near where I used to have my mixed veterinary practice, near Exmoor, and uh, it's probably 50% people, 50% animals, and I primarily deal with chronic disease. In other words, disease which there is no cure for, and conventionally you'd have to have, you know, drugging for it, often very effectively. I'm not against that. But the excitement of actually curing something rather than just uh, drugging it so you don't see it is great. So it's a mixed practice, all species of animals, all species of humans, but I only use homeopathy there and I give nutritional advice, but I don't use any other form of uh, drugs or therapies. It's because it could do things I've been told were impossible. You could actually treat disease which I would regard as being chronic and incurable, when hay fever is not something that is curable. And I was better. I wasn't ta taking all the drugs that I was normally needing to take. And that was, for a vet, such an exciting thing. And so I started using it in the practice a bit. And I had an incurable case that had been to Bristol University with a disease called pemphigus. It was a dog. It was dying, really. And I treated it with some help from some colleagues, and it got better. And strangely enough, you know, I, I had the weird pleasure of putting it to sleep eight years later, and it had no problems in those eight years. And for me, that was you know, a total eye-opener, and has led me to so many different interesting areas, not just of healing, but of different philosophies, so many different philosophies seem to be involved in homeopathy, quantum physics, the power of now, Buddhism, <laughs> the, the Big Bang, the singularity, the formation of the universe, all of these things are now which we routinely consider in homeopathy. Homeopathy is a subject that encompasses just about everything and its deep philosophies seem to concur with the philosophies of most other religions and areas. I'd never didn't know anything about philosophy, never studied it, and now I'm fascinated by it. That's another reason I love homeopathy. It interests me so much. It's by far the most challenging, informative thing I've ever done in my life. I like, particularly like it because it connects everything together. Um, everything should be connected together because there must just be some very simple basic truths and they should all say the same thing. And through discovering the truth of homeopathy, I've discovered many other truths as well. And they all seem to come to the same conclusion. And that's very exciting to make the connections, to understand what's going on, not just with your patient, but with your society, with your world. It's a huge subject. You never stop learning. I'm studying all the time now, traveling around, teaching everywhere, studying everywhere meeting with friends, different groups of people. It's uh, a wonderful place to be. You need to have an open mind. You have to be curious. You have to be prepared to work hard because it's not a small subject. It's a huge subject. It encompasses so much. You have to be ready for maybe a life-changing, thought-changing experience and you need to embrace that. The majority of people I know who have studied homeopathy and carried on working with it are so content with it. They're deeply happy. It gives them an understanding of themselves, of their world, and it never stops. So if you fancy that sort of thing happening in your life, then come and study homeopathy. But it's not like going and studying how to make this disease better or what do you treat that with. That's not what it's about. It's about understanding what's really important, what makes us tick, why are we here. So 
it's everything really. So I'd say come and do it. If you have as good a time as I've had, then you're going to have a good time. The teaching I enjoy because as I teach, I hear things back from the students and that gives me more connections. I learn from talking to the students because they have an idea and it suddenly fits into the pattern which I'm working out for myself. I enjoy seeing the light come on their eyes as they sort of understand that imparting of understanding, that imparting of cutting edge knowledge, that changing of opinions, that letting go of prejudice. When you see that happening in people, that's a very exciting thing to see and a, a freeing thing. You cover pathology and uh, physiology, you study the body and you study its diseases. But you also look very closely at why are those diseases there, which is something that's not really addressed in conventional medicine. The disease is there and you treat it. But why is that disease there? Why has that person developed Crohn's disease or cancer or whatever it's going to be? And you discover there's often a reason for this and this reason often is because of what's going on in their life. It's their mental stresses. And stress can be so many things, being humiliated, being overjoyed, being grief, even the loss of a pet, the loss of a, the death of your dog or the death of your cat can lead to a serious chronic disease starting. And when homeopathy has remedies which can address these issues, and uh, so you can get to the core of of what's going on. You can understand why this person is ill. Other things that are covered in gradually increasing depth are philosophy of various sorts. And because of the sort of homeopathy which is taught at this school, we also look very closely at the world of nature. So today, for instance, I was teaching mammals, I was teaching sea creatures, I was teaching spiders. I was getting to understand these animals in their habitats, their role in nature. I was looking at the periodic table and the meaning of the pattern of the elements. Because the pattern of the elements is actually the pattern of our entire world. Everything is made from them. Each one of the elements in the periodic table is a homeopathic remedy. And so by understanding those remedies, you become to understand the actual building blocks of what we are. And as a homeopath, through the process of provings, you discover what archetypally these elements represent, what they mean. And so you get a philosophical, archetypal understanding of the material substance of your universe. And that's a pattern that never changes. And everything follows that pattern. And to understand such a pattern and see where your patient fits on it, see where the world around you fits on it, is profoundly moving and exciting. Uh, this is a special school for a number of reasons. One, homeopathy itself has evolved hugely in the last 20 years with many new ideas coming in uh, from India, from Holland and from the UK as well, whereby we're actually looking at the, the remedy, the drugs we use to treat with and its position in, the, in nature, in the periodic table. And the new advances of homeopathy that have been occurring in the world are taught at this school. A number of the teachers have a great interest and are teachers all over the world in these different areas. And so it's keeping up with the advances that are occurring. And that's an exciting place to be, to be surrounded by people who are searching, who want to understand further and further. The one thing about homeopathy is that it never stops. I'm learning as much now as I was 20 years ago. The other thing about a school, it has a very uh, held feeling. It's very, very friendly. We have great parties. We all get together regularly. There's the food's great. It's in a beautiful old house in the countryside where you can go walking. And all this gives a atmosphere which you want to come back to. It's fun. You can camp under a beautiful great big tree. You can drink out of the spring. It's, uh, it nurtures your learning, but even if you're not gonna learn, it's a, great, it's a great place to be. And the friends that you make when you study homeopathy, when you go through these 
changes, these life changes that you have are profound and they be become friends forever. It's all to do with one of your hormones, oxytocin, which is a new remedy that's been brought out. And that's another fascinating thing you could study to understand oxytocin and use it as a remedy. What could be more interesting than that?